think it might be a medium. This is the first time I'm seeing this in reality. And I cannot understand that. Like, if I would have a bag like this, I would yes. wear it out. 3,500 pound for a Chanel reissue 227, guys. Can you believe it? I love doing this. And then, look at this. So they actually got a sale on, on orange and purple stickers at the moment. And that means that the bag is 40% off. This is history. And I think 3,000 pound for a bag like this is actually a good price because these are vintage beauties. Welcome back to my channel. The weather is absolutely horrible. It is raining like crazy. We didn't really have summer in the UK this year. I know that Europe was so hot, but here it was cold and rainy. It feels like autumn, it does. So today I would say let's go on the hunt for the cheapest luxury bags in London. Oh, if you could feel the wind right now, oh my god. <laughs> It's like a storm out here. But yeah, we're gonna go look at the cheapest luxury bags in London and see where we find them. And let's see where else the day leads us, right? It's always exciting. Should we have a quick look at Chanel, guys? Um, these are all the new full winter 23 pieces. And I think they have a rose gold Chanel 22. I've never tried that one on. Let's look at that one. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful bag. I love the color. You guys know that. It's really nice. Okay, guys. So look at this beautiful rose gold uh, Chanel 22 bag. This is, I think, is it my size or is it the size more? I think it might be a medium. This is the first time I'm seeing this in reality. I mean, you guys know I stay away from metallic um, Chanel leathers, but just look at the beauty. <gasps> wow, it's really stunning. This is the same bag we tried on last time, just in red. It's a beautiful patent leather. They don't have it in the dusty pink velvet, unfortunately. I'm still in love with this style. Look at this bag, guys. I think this is a really nice everyday bag. Um, it's from Full Winter as well. I just came in and I saw this and I thought, oh, it's cool. So this bag is 5,200. It's really good. And we think it's calfskin, not lambskin, which would be good for an everyday bag. It comes in a larger size as well. This is, I think, too large for me. But it's quite a cool bag. It's quite a cool everyday bag. I quickly have to stop at Gucci, guys, because look at this dress. That's me. <laughs> And then this beautiful sparkly Dionysus top handle bag, gorgeous. Now to the cheapest luxury bags in London and where to find them. We're in the heart of uh, Knightsbridge, very close to Harrods. And our first stop is going to be, there we can see it, Designer Exchange. Uh, Designer Exchange and Bagista, they are my favorite pre love shops in London. Okay, so let's start with the Lady Dior's. Wow, what is this? 3,500 pounds. <gasps> Guys, I have never seen this bag before. This is like an, I, I feel like this is an orchid, right? Um, it's incredible, it's metallic leather. And to be honest, guys, I don't even know when this bag was made. We're gonna find out later, but the quality is incredible. Oh God, I'm in love. I know that I have a couple of silver hardware bags for very, very special bags, like I make the exception. Oh, here, this is like, oh, it's a Mark Quinn bag. It's from the art collections. That's incredible. So for some silver hardware bags, like I make exceptions and I feel like this, I might need this in my collection, right? We're gonna try it on later. Let's have a look around first, cause <laughs> I'm just um, a little bit starstruck. <laughs> By the bag. Okay, so this is a, I guess, an art collection piece as well. Let's have a look. Two thousand eight hundred pound, guys. Designer exchanges prices are unbeatable. Like honestly, you can't find better deals anywhere else. And look, they have such rarities. You know, where can you find those bags? I mean, look at this. This is a Python Dior. I've never even seen this before. So it must be from couple years ago if you guys have more information about these bags because you remember the collections like let us know in the comment section below look at this incredible ready for a little bit of louis vuitton so look at this i have a tiny little city steamer there and again such a rare piece 
I've never even seen this bag in the boutique. This is from the Kusama collection. I think not a lot of people were fans of this. I know I wasn't. <laughs> Um, this must be from the man's collection. It's a teeny tiny little keyboard. Really pretty. Okay, what do we have here? Oh guys, I'm so in love with this. Okay, <laughs> let me try and focus on other bags. Um, please help me decide. What would you do? Oh look, a Victoire bag. I love my Victoire. I gave it to my mom at some point, but for a couple of years that was my everyday bag and I had the one with the black leather. There were a pochette miti, a mini pochette miti, and is this like a Louis Vuitton coffee cup bag? <laughs> How cool is this? And again, guys, let's check the prices. <sighs> See what I mean? These are unbeatable. This bag was 1,600 pounds when I bought it, and I think by now it's like over two, two. So, you know, you can save a lot. And look at this. These bags are in excellent condition. They're almost new. So we have some patent bags. This is a patent jumbo. And look at this. This bag costs 10,000 pounds nowadays, uh, if you buy it in the boutique. <laughs> And it's only 4,000 here and this looks like a single flap bag so you can actually fit more and it's not as heavy as the double flap bags. Incredible. Vintage Chanel CC told. Oh, a Chanel uh, clutch stunning. See, such rare bags and again 3,000 pounds, such a good price. Discontinued Gabrielle. Guys, I can't believe nobody picked this up yet. This is a Python Chanel. 5,500 pounds in the boutique like I know they're not selling exotics anymore but if they would this bag would be 20,000 so you know it's incredible and look they look pristine they look absolutely like new vintage uh, another little rainbow case stunning and jumbo a Denim Chanel and these markings still mean that the gold, um, that the hardware was actually gold plated. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Lots of classic flaps, guys. And even a mini. Um, okay, let's have a look at this. This bag is still gold plated as well. It has a marking, but it looks newer, so I guess it's from the 2000s. Chanel stopped gold plating their bags in 2008 2009. 5,000 pound again, half price from what you would pay retail and any MS fans, so they have so many beautiful bags. Look at this, 9,900 pound for Birkin 35 in gold. Stunning. Uh, crocodile, beautiful. No way. Look at this, 10,000 pound for a Kelly Return 35. This is the raisin color. I absolutely love raisin. That's my favorite MS color. There we have a kiwi and a red one and more Chanel, guys. I can't believe how many beautiful bags they currently have. And they get so many bags in all the time. Okay, let's look at this reissue. 3,500 pound for a Chanel reissue 227, guys. Can you believe it? This is what I mean. Come to Design Exchange if you want to find the best deals and the cheapest luxury bags. I mean, look at this. Stunning. A Gabriel. I love my Gabriel. Uh, it's a perfect bag for traveling. I still want a small one. Look at the price. 2,400 pound. What? Okay. I want to take a lot of these bags home. <laughs> Let's see what else we find. So guys, both these bags are actually from the same artist. So they're both Mark Quinn bags. That makes sense because we have the orchid right there. And this is an orchid as well. Oh, it's so stunning. Okay. This is the Mark Quinn. Oh yeah, and they have both logos on the front. Okay guys, look at these bags as well quickly before we try some on. A multicolor. Look at this. They are so rare. 950 pounds. This very special Dior bag. Um, I mean, they're discontinued, they're not making them anymore. One five, and this is again an exotic, exotic bags are so hard to get your hands on, like they're so expensive. And beautiful Chloe bag, and this is super cheap, 6.95. Guys, okay, 
guys look at the Gucci bags especially this rarity wow and again this is a python bag and look at the price 950 for an entire python leather bag you have like some beautiful crystals here absolutely stunning i mean look at the prices you know and you want a speedy you want a keyboard you can choose <laughs> They have so, so many different bags. And um, look at this beautiful um, Bottega. Really stunning. £1,200 only. Guys, this is almost half price. Okay, guys, so here we are with the beautiful Macron Dior bag. And I cannot believe it. It's pristine. It's in new condition. It's never been used. The person who sold both bags to them has never used them. You know, so they basically probably just put them behind glass is an artwork and I cannot understand that like if I would have a bag like this I would wear it out and to be honest guys this is a bag I would get even though it has silver hardware we know I make very rare exceptions only for very special bags with silver hardware because I'm a gold hardware girl um, but this is pristine so look at this there is no corner where oh, nothing it's incredible and this effect is breathtaking of course you have feet there's the orchid even underneath and wow so this is the dior logo and here you have the mark quinn logo and is it detachable yes it's actually detachable so you could decide to take it off and only have the classic dior um, logo on the back because two logos might be a bit much sometimes right especially with like the quiet luxury aesthetic that we're going for at the moment so um yeah like i said i cannot believe it i can't believe it that people buy these bags and never wear them this is from 2016. okay guys so look at this 227 reissue and i know you can't touch it you have to come into the store to actually you right. know see these bags uh, in person this is a sweet caviar leather what and like I said, these bags are over 10k retail price now. And again, look at this. They look incredibly uh, pristine. And let me show you a close-up of this bag now. Can you see this? This is a caviar, but it's a sweet caviar. It's the softest caviar leather you can imagine. And again, look at this. The bag is like new. Nobody has ever worn these pieces. Do you want a book in a bag? And um, um, the hardware, there's no chipping, so nothing, have. guys. We'll oh. And to be honest, I always we'll wanted a uh, 2 to 2 to 7 ratio. For me, this is the best size. You can wear it like a clutch as well, you know? I love it. And again, the price, unbeatable. Look at this special piece, guys. So this is uh, obviously Birkin Perti. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, obviously, that, it's so hard for me to say these strange names, but if you have a look at it, this is... Uh, sanguine. Sanguine, sanguine, yeah. yeah. Palladium and hardware. And palladium hardware. 2013. From 2013. And, and 37K. So and then the skin is alligator Mississippi. It's absolutely stunning, guys. And you know the size 30 is my preference preferred size um, let me try it on so it's in my opinion the best proportions I'm 5758 everybody's always asking me um, I my mom actually has a size 35 and that's too big on me to be honest and it's quite heavy once you stuff them but this size yes it's stunning so if you're looking for an exotic Birkin, you can find that here too. And guys, I feel like I have to show you this one before we leave. Um, look at this beautiful Gucci bag. It's actually inspired by Indian saris. Can you see this? It's so beautifully embroidered and you actually got python elements. Um, it's quite heavy, you know, once you fill it up, that's something you have to keep in mind. But how beautiful is this? That was Design Exchange and now, just around the corner, is Bagista. And that's my second favorite shop. <laughs> they have amazing pieces as well and let's check their prices. Okay guys, let's have a quick look at what we can find at Bagista. Lots of Louis Vuitton bags. I'm just gonna give you an overview and then we're gonna try some special pieces on. Look at this. I got this bag in black. Um, I didn't even know they made it in red at the time. This is a reissue of the vintage Chanel CC tote and yeah beautiful a Kelly 35 and more beautiful Kellys and some back charms. Chanel bags wow look at how many Kellys they have. 
Stunning, stunning, stunning. Sherling, Sherling is always in style, comes back every winter. And wow, oh wow. This, if I would ever get um, one of these MS bags, this is my combination. The black leather with the gold hardware and the canvas material. Stunning, okay, we have to check the price for this one. Because this is a dream come true, 3,400. So you're paying almost 1,600 pound premium because it's so difficult to get your hands on one of these bags, but stunning. We have to try it on nonetheless. And look at this beautiful um, vintage Chanel. Such a special piece too, which we should try that on too, I think. So three, five, I think that's actually a really good price for this bag. Okay, more Chanel flats and look at these beautiful bags. Again, this is the anemone color. I love it, anemone, one of my favorite MS colors. And oh my God, we were back in 25, we have to try that one on. We have more than one bag in 25, guys. Stunning. And this is entirely new from the new collection uh, and it has already ended up here. Sometimes you wonder how that happens. And uh, yeah, and look at this special piece. I still remember when they came out with these bags. Love it. Hi guys, so here we are with a beautiful hair bag and this is my absolute dream combination. I think it's stunning. Would I pay the premium though? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe guys, because um, they get them store fresh and you know, you can get, if you go to MS, we all know you cannot pick and choose, you have to take whatever they offer you. Um, so maybe you have to sometimes pay a little bit more over retail to get exactly what you want. Look at this monstrosity guys, this is a Birkin 40, a travel Birkin and this is the heaviest bag. Um, I cannot imagine how heavy it gets once you actually fill it up, but hey, some people travel with it. I'm to show you this one because I do have this bag in black. This is the beautiful red, the burgundy, but it's quite a red red. <laughs> However, again, it looks like new guys and I can only recommend you this bag because it is so durable. This patent leather is incredible. I wore mine as an everyday bag throughout winter, snowfall and rain <laughs> and it held up beautifully. The strap for this one is quite long. However, maybe we can find a way to actually shorten it. Give me a second. Look at this. So what I usually do is I just wrap the strap around the bag once and then you just close it and ta-da you got a short strap so I love doing this and then look at this I love doing this with all my jumbos and Chanel bags even rectangular minis you can do that you know okay guys look at this beauty so I cannot believe it this is one of their store fresh Birkin 25s and it's got the stickers on and everything and oh, it is so beautiful especially with this little back charm right here this is the Birkin 25 it is cute it is cute. I know I always say I prefer the size 30 and I do, um, but we cannot deny <laughs> how cute that looks. Um, and of course they are really light in comparison to their bigger sisters, you know, um, really stunning. That was Bagista. It was a little bit difficult to film in there because some people didn't want to be um, seen in the video. So I had to, you know, navigate um, a little bit, but I also met really, really incredibly nice people. <laughs> Um, who watch my video so I'm so happy whenever I hear from Design Exchange or Bagista that they that you guys actually go shopping because you see it in my video so that's so nice <laughs> okay guys uh, now we're gonna head to Pandora Pandora is in one of these beautiful back alleys in Knightsbridge there we have it and I'm so happy that the weather got a little bit better and it's not raining anymore. Let's go in. Let's have a look. So they actually got a sale on, on orange and purple stickers at the moment. And that means that the bag is 40% off. Um, that's quite cool. Look at all these gorgeous Chanel bags. And we even got a Chanel 31 bag right there. You guys know I have that exact model in the patent letter. There we have a little Dior bag and some Bottegas, guys. Ooh, look at this silver Bottega chain pouch. Stunning. I always say it, this is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like Alice in Wonderland when I'm here because you never know what you find. And they have so many beautiful treasures. I mean, look at this. Even this jacket is incredible, right? 
and you got so many shoes as well so this is shoe heaven too and guys in the back you have another like shoe heaven area but one of the highlights at pandora are their chanel jackets like can you believe this the amount of chanel tweed jackets they have on sale i mean look at this even the newest models are on sale and they have so many louis vuitton bags as well guys and i think some of them are actually 40 percent off because they have the little um purple marking so this is 800 pound mine is 40 percent so 500 it's a pretty good deal if you ask me look they even got the louis vuitton luggage pieces incredible and not only chanel jackets like we got chanel everything <laughs> look at this chanel jumpers trousers skirts dresses heaven what about a versace beauty or a fendi peekaboo they got everything i hope you got some inspiration in terms of where to look for the best cheapest luxury bags in london designer exchange bagista pandora Go, go on the hunt and always let me know if you find something guys I'm so excited for you as well obviously and look at this guys so the new Dior bags I think it's all in the name of the Paris map um, and there we have Lady Dior and the book shirt as well in this style do we like it they printed the Paris map on everything <laughs> uh, the cardigan the skirt the bag do we like this or would you say it's rather overkill? Oh wow, and look at this beautiful display arrangement. <gasps> they got a little Dior pop-up shop here, so let's quickly head into this and check it out. Wow guys, look at all these beautiful bags. But our purpose today is to find the cheapest luxury bags. So we're gonna go to some pre loved shops as well. This is re -Selfridges. So even in Selfridges, you can find some pre loved bags. And their prices were quite unreasonable in the very beginning. However, I think they've adjusted them recently. And you can actually find um, good deals here. Here we have a beautiful Dior. Let's see how much that one is. A saddle. Do they tell us the price? They don't. <laughs> well, usually they do. So this one, for example, is... 900 so I think they really adjusted their prices and a couple more resale fridges pieces look at this vintage Chanel vanity case and this little denim bag pretty cool some classic flaps and reissues there we have a golden beauty a little round case and another reissue wow look at this patent bag oh, it's quite sticky guys that's something you have to take into consideration oh wow this is a Chanel Kelly, I can't believe it. I always wanted one of these, but in leather. Um, it's so hard to find them in this size. Obviously gold hardware for me, but wow. We should try this one on. Um, 3,100. I think it's a jersey material. I mean, the first Chanel bags were made out of jersey, so that's pretty cool. Plus, this is still my dream, guys. A large vintage XXL jumbo from the 80s and 90s wow okay so here we are with the chanel kelly this is a small kelly they are so hard to find even in japan most of the time they come in like larger size i'm gonna pick a, put a picture up so that you know what i'm talking about but wow i mean this is incredible and the very first chanel bags that coco chanel actually made they were made out of jersey so this is history and I think 3,000 pounds for a bag like this is actually a good price because these are vintage beauties, treasures. And just a quick L'Envoir overload, guys. Mm, I know I always show you these bags and I can't get enough of them. But um, oh, I'm so much in love with L'Envoir bags. And of course, these very special crystal editions. Oh. Just look at them, how can you not fall in love with these bags, right? I've just really fallen in love with this Dries van Noten bag and look at them, they are so cute. This one feels pretty cool, it's like leather foil but different to the Bottega bags. It feels really nice, it's, this one is 795. Let me quickly check the price for this one. Okay, I don't know what it is. It is the cuteness factor of this bag and I think it feels really nice as well. What is, I've, I've never looked at Dries van Noten bags, have you? But this is super cute. I love it. I just want to take it home. This is 530 pounds, by the way. Um, 
The quality is beautiful and the color is so me. And this is actually a leather strap um, with which you open the bag. This is so cute. This is the golden one. And again, they feel really nice. This must be a leather bag. That's why it's more expensive than the other one. But it's good price for a really beautiful bag. Some Versace bags, guys. I really like mine and I definitely want a second Versace bag at some point. Can I just quickly share London's beauty with you? Look at this tree and those flowers. Mm, okay, I need a matcha latte now because that's my newest addiction. Let's go to Soho House because they make really delicious ones. And I'm just quickly walking past Lampu and I thought I cannot not show you. <laughs> these pre-love bags. So this is a pre-love shop as well. Look at this beautiful Gabrielle. Oh, stunning vintage Louis Vuitton. Look, all the colors of the rainbow. Is there anything that caught your eye, guys? Let me know. Okay, guys, unfortunately they're already closed, but this is a Zoho house here on Sloan Square and they have the best matcha latte next time. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag of this family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. And yeah, guys, I see you again very, very soon. Bye.